Super Legends. Welcome to Villa Harmony. Today I want to share with you the significance of making sure that you have a boot in your patch kit. Um, I went out on a ride today and during the ride, brand new tire, I was testing out my Victoria Evo for the weekend. I mounted some new tires and hit something on the road that just pretty much tore up my tire. I, I run latex tubes in my Victoria and it just exploded, pow, and all the air instantly was gone. So I stopped, you know, switched it out and everything. And what I wanted to share with you all is that you need to make sure you have a boot in your patch kit. Even if you don't have a boot that is an official thing that you bought with a kit, you can make your own. Uh, or, worst case scenario, you can use money you fold the money small enough and put it in there, it will allow you to get your tube in there and at least get home. Let me show you the tire that's on the bike. Let me take it off. This is what happened. I'm gonna turn it this way. Hopefully you get a good shot all the way around. I think you can really see it from here. I'm just riding down the road. Nothing's wrong on the road, usual road. And something cut it. So after I did my repair, I was curious because I didn't see any, cause of anything because I always read the road. So I just walked back a little bit and I found a little hinge that had come off from a piece of furniture. It had been out there forever. It was rusted and just sharp. And it just basically ripped the tire. You can probably see it better here like that. You can see it bulging. I'm going to deflate it so you can see the boot. Without a boot, I would not have been able to get home because the tube would poke out. I mean, that whole rip you see is just a hole in the whole tire. Victorias are made for speed, and performance. So they're made with cotton. You can see the cotton in there. Okay? High TPI. That means that, you know, they're not the most durable tire. But this cut would have affected any kind of tire. Because I saw the, the, the piece of hinge that was out there. It was sharp. And I'm going to move this back a little bit. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Before I deflate it, I want you to see the Hopefully that way. You see a little, it looks kind of yellow under there. That's that's a piece of continental gator skin. That's what I use for a boot. I'm going to deflate it and show it to you. When you're making a boot, you don't want to use um, a tire like Victoria, which is high performance. They're not that tough. So I use gator skin and I cut them into one inch squares and I keep one in my patch kit. Let me, another thing I like about Victoria, you don't even need tire irons. Very, very easy to get off the rim. You can get off the rim with your hand. You can see what I'm doing here. I'm using my fingers and I'm just lifting it off the rim. Look at that. You can take the whole tire off, which is what I'm doing, if you want to. But that's how easy it is. So with Victoria, you don't need tire levers. So the tire wasn't a problem. I will show you exactly. Let me take this tube out. That's the repair tube. I'm putting latex. I'm replacing the Victoria. I already, already have spares here. Those of you who have watched my other videos, I keep extra tires. But so, as much as, as, much as it sucks that this was a new tire, the tire is history. I'll bring it closer. This is my boot. I took an old gator skin and I cut that and I keep that in my patch kit. So this was with me. I keep that with me all the time in a bag. And I also have uh, the, the, the blueless patches, the one that already have blue on them that you can just repair. Like if you have multiple flats, I keep those in there as well. But this, without this, I would not have been able to get home. I would have had to use maybe a dollar bill or something folded like that because that will get you home. Uh, what I want to explain is that once you boot up your tire to get you home, when you get home, do what I, I just did. Get the tube out of there. It's not for you to keep riding thinking, oh, 
Yeah, I got a new tire. It got a cut. I'm going to keep riding on it. Your tube won't last. The fact that you have this deformity in there. First of all, coming home, I could feel this thing bouncing on the road. So it's, it wasn't very comfortable. I wouldn't want to ride it anyway. But I know people try to get their money out of the tire when something like that happens. Don't do that. Because even if the tire holds up with the boot, the tube won't. That area with the boot puts a lot of pressure on the tube. Doesn't matter how heavy your tube is. It will not last. Two or three days, you will have another slow leak. So you get home, it's time to get rid of the tire and put something new on there. And I'm going to show you now, with it being deflated, you can see through. That's the hole. I'm going to put my finger through there. Look at that. That's the hole. So when it cut, whatever cut it, it just went pow. And that's the thing about latex. That's how they deflate. It's a lot of power. Now, you're wondering, well, you know, why, why you want to use latex at all? Well, I'll tell you what, they ride great. They are faster. I feel the difference. I mean, just hands down, no question about it. I don't need to be in a lab. You feel the difference. Just try it. Put latex with some high TPI tire. Doesn't matter what brand it is. They need to be like two something and higher to even warrant you bothering. Put latex in there. So I have this latex tube for about two years. Easy. I paid, what, seven bucks for it? You know, it lasted a long time. But this would have ripped a beautiful tube or any kind of tube. It wasn't a tube. It's just road hazard. Too bad discount tire doesn't cover these because I buy one of the hazard warranties for situations like this. But it doesn't happen that frequently. So I wanted to share with you guys that, guys and girls, that you need to have a boot in your patch kit. Uh, worst case scenario, make sure you have a, a paper currency that you can fold to get you home because without something like this or paper currency, I could not have put a tube in there. You saw my finger coming through. The tube would have come through. It would not be able, you wouldn't be able to get home. So I was able to get home because I had this. And you could see it was still on the bike and everything. So it held properly. Yeah, it was uncomfortable. I could feel that area when it hit the, the pavement or bounce. I could feel it because this tire is very smooth. So I'm putting another 25 millimeter Victoria on the wheel because I want to ride it this weekend. I always like to put tires on it. I'm going to use in the weekend, make sure everything's fine. I don't like to put new things on for a ride. I like to make sure I ride and ride them in. So I would spin on them on Friday to make sure they settle in as a brand new tire. But other than that, you know, it's just unfortunate. This has to go in the trash, you know. That's why I get them on sale, because anything can happen. So I just wanted to make this quick video to share that with you. Make sure you have a boot in your patch kit, because even with a tube, if you get a big enough hole, you're not going to be able to get home. That's very important. Make your own. You don't have to buy it. You get an old tire when it's worn, cut a piece. That's the sidewall. I just use scissors and I cut it. That's all you need. You see that curve? It fits in the tire. And make sure once you get home, get that tube out of there like I just did. Don't leave it in there and keep riding. The tube won't last because the edges of this thing will deform that area when the tube's under pressure. It will cause it to leak in a day or two. Been there, done that. I'm not, it's not from a book. It's directly from experience. So I hope this helps you when you're out there. So no matter what, get your case.